Singapore is one of the highest e-waste generators in Asia. Most of it lands up here. Out of sight, out of mind. That is really strange. Because our electronics are made up of some of the scarcest minerals found on this planet, a typical smartphone has gold, silver, and palladium. It also contains rare earth elements that are hard to mine. Metals like cobalt, manganese, nickel, and copper. That's why recycling these metals from our mobile phone batteries is the next big thing. The dilemma is, there are only four phone battery recycling plants in the world. I am in Gunsan, South Korea, to visit one of them. Songil High Tech currently collects from eight countries around the world. Just to start this plant, Songil High Tech spent six years and 750 million US dollars developing a technology that can extract these precious metals. So why is it so important that we recycle these batteries? Cobalt 같은 경우는 콩고에 많이 있는데 어 아동 착취에 문제가 많이 있어. After batteries are crushed, it goes through a process to make it a black powder. This black powder is a mixture of all the minerals found in our phone batteries. To extract these minerals individually, it needs to go through a chemical process. I can already see separation a little bit. 이제 코발트는 이제 위로 올라간 상태가 되겠고요. Oh, so this is cobalt. 10,000에서 7,500대의 그 모바일 폰 배터리를 어, 생산을 할 수가 있어요. The science behind extraction is fascinating because battery minerals like cobalt and nickel can be used to make new batteries. But by 2025, cobalt from recycled batteries will only meet 20% of demand. In the early 2000s, South Korea tried to make e-waste recycling mandatory. The irony is that, in technologically advanced South Korea, most of their research is still under development. So now, we have LCD TV, and we have a display of LCD TV. It's hard to recycle it. Because the display is growing fast, and it will continue to be used in the Apart from plastics and glass, precious and rare minerals make up our TVs. And every model of TV set is entirely different. Hong In's challenge is mass recycling our LCD and LED screens. In 2010, he built this pilot plant. On average, TVs have about 200 nuts and bolts that need to be unscrewed in order to take all the different components apart. It's fast enough to process about 5,000 different types of screens annually. But compare that to about 200 million TV sets sold globally per year. And Hong In is also racing against time. TV manufacturers are coming up with new models often and he needs to develop a software for every new model that comes out. Our high-tech trash is rapidly piling up, but there are few technologies able to recycle them properly. Can we continue to rely on recycling to deal with our wanton waste?